Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. Not only am I in Los Angeles, Danielle has flown in from Calgary, Canada to meet with me and to share her story about getting out of debt. Now, Danielle, your blog is called Damsel Out of Debt. Yes. Um, can you please share with me like your story? Like, what made you go, you know what, I can't live like this? And how did you find out about the thousand dollar project? Okay, so obviously personal stories have so many details, and I'm gonna to try to bring it down to the important stuff. So my husband and I have been dating since I was 18 years old. Oh, wow. And so until I got to university, that's when we were able to move in together and start our life. Mm -hmm. And we just kind of went along thinking, you know, we weren't really big spenders, we weren't big shoppers or anything. Life just kind of happened. Mm -hmm. And yes, we're living like, um, we're always going to make more money and it's going to be okay. Like these little debts are gonna get paid off. Yeah, like kind of push that problem into the future. Right, like it's going to be fine. Deal with it later. This yeah. is what people do. Mm -hmm. we're, we're being normal. Mm -hmm. Well, at some point that shifted, it flipped. And all of a sudden things weren't okay anymore. Like the income was not keeping up with the debt. Mm -hmm. And to deal with that, basically I didn't deal with it. I couldn't handle it. Um, so you just like buried your head in the sand? Just buried my head in the sand. It took me a long time to even talk about it mm -hmm. because I'm an accountant and I am in the financial world. And, but when it came to personal, I just, I couldn't look at it. I had so much shame and embarrassment around it that I just ignored it. And so I, it was, Years later, and um, my husband decided to start his own business in the field that he's always done in HVAC construction. And it was great, it was so exciting, but I thought, oh my goodness, like I need to get ahead of this, make sure that this risky venture mm. isn't going to put the family at risk. And yes. you're a mother of two girls. I'm a mother of two, two girls. girls. Yeah. Yes, so, so you, you know, know the stress of looking after your own finances, but also the future like stability of your daughters as well. Absolutely, so, like, we, were, we were no longer these young kids able to just do what we wanted. Like we had to make sure we had stability. Yeah. So I agreed with the business starting up and that was great, he was doing that, but I needed to make sure that we could pay the bills because at, at this point we were making enough to cover everything. But now bringing his income into question, I had to look at everything over yeah. again. So put out my budget and everything and I, when I did that, I realized this debt, it made me, it forced me to look at the debt situation. And when I looked at it and really dug into it, it was so upsetting that I thought I need, I need to figure something out. And even though I am trained in finance and I'm a director of finance, like that it didn't cross over to my personal life and I hit the Google like we do <laughs> and I, I love Google. Yeah. <laughs> how to get out of debt or how to get out of debt quickly with no money or something like that and through that I found Sugar Mama TV and the $1,000 project. Okay. Alright so you, you found it and then what did you do? Like like what was your immediate reaction to in seeing this like idea? Well I just I found it so inspiring, this idea that, you know, I have my job and my income from that, but there's there's more that I can build. I, there's more things that I can do to make more money. There are other opportunities around everyone to yes. create, manifest, earn, like save money. It's not just, we're not defined by the limitations. Exactly, exactly. And this was the perfect timing for me to find that in my life. <laughs> because I was limited. I was on maternity leave with wow. my second daughter. Oh my gosh. Um, thing, life was busy. Uh, life was stressful. Yeah. It was stressful, it was busy. Um, so for me, I decided to go with a $500 project. And that's something I love about it, mm -hmm. that you say, you know, these are your rules that you mm -hmm. live by, but we can shift them for ourselves, whatever our situation yeah. is. So for me, 500 seemed like a big enough chunk to feel really excited and like proud of myself yeah. when I got there. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was an accessible number for you to achieve. Like. But it was also accessible that I could get there. So it was like a bit of a push, mm -hmm. but it was something I could do while I was home with, mm -hmm. with my kids. And so I did the $500 project mm -hmm. and I did all kinds of different things. Like I did someone's taxes. I did some girls, her mom was turning 70 and needed a slideshow and she had no time. So I put together a slideshow for her mom's birthday. Uh, I once dressed up like a Harry Potter character and acted at a kid's birthday party. Oh so, my goodness. Yes, just anything. And I think the thing is, 
when I had my $500 project on my mind, I just saw opportunity when it presented itself. Whereas before, those things may have been there, but I didn't identify them. I didn't see them. You, you had a closed mindset to it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's, it totally changed my mindset, ability to earn money, okay. and it changed everything. What did it feel like to receive that first, like to make your first $500, what did that feel like? I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. I showed my husband because I have my separate little bank account nicknamed. Nickname is so Always important. very important. Keep it separate. It all goes in the $500 project. And I just felt so proud. Like this is something I made on my own. You know, it wasn't my regular salary or anything. Like this was all little things that added up. And sometimes there were just small amounts. I may have sold something for like $5 because they still can't everything still around me, yeah, yeah, everything around me just turned into like, well, if I'm not using this or if I'm not wearing it, it's gotta go. And then it makes someone else happy. Yeah. They've got a $5 top. And so it just built from there. And I think success builds success. So you sold that thing for $5 and you got it out, like you cleared the space mm -hmm. and then you found, because you cleared space, you were then able to see something else you could potentially sell for another $5 or $10 even. Yeah. But like you start, you, you make a progress and you start to see the next step and that all leads to your path. Um, okay, talking of path, like I want to hear your, your results. Like where, where are you at? How has the, the $500 project helped you? So at this point from where we started, we have paid down 30% of our total debt. Now there is a reason why I don't get into the details of the dollars, That's and, okay. but I want to share with you why, mm -hmm. because I think that when people watch, if they have a much bigger number, they might think, well, like she, she had less than me. Her story is not my story. I can't do it with all of the debt I have. Mm -hmm. Or if they have a lot less debt, then they might think, well, oh goodness, she's got a lot more. And like they, they'll use it relate. As, they'll use it as an excuse. Look, thirty percent debt reduction to anyone that's in debt is a lot of money. Whether it be a thousand dollars worth of debt, ten thousand dollars worth of debt, or a hundred thousand dollars of debt, it is a huge percent percentage. How do you feel about seeing that progress? It feels so amazing because I came from a point where we felt like this was going to be our life. We were just going to have debt. We are going to live with this debt for the rest of time. We just could not see the light at the end of the tunnel. And so now knowing that there is an end in sight, we're still in it, we're still working on it, hmm. but we will get there and that's the most amazing feeling. Um, if you've done 30% in this short period of time, um, imagine what you're going to be in 10 years down the track. And so like what are your goals like once you get this debt out of the way like i hope you're not going to stop using a 500 dollar project i hope you're going to use all those habits and those like knowledge and those skills make sure that you never repeat the debt again and you, you start building savings or investing like what are your what are your plans after being debt free like because that's when life gets even better like you're in a place of instead of earning all this money and having to give it away you need mm -hmm. to earn it keep it and grow it for yourself so what what do you yes do? i think about that all the time because as excited as i am to be getting rid of that debt and just destroying it, it gets me a little bit that all that money is going toward debt and I cannot wait for that money to eventually stay with me and turn into passive income, invest it. I'm so excited about that. But the other side of that is that the project led me to something else, my yes. passion. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. Because I was building this additional money that was besides our regular family income, I, and I was learning so much paying down my own debt and you know, I had a financial background to begin with. So it, it also brought in what I already knew and just applied it to my life instead of ignoring my personal life. So I found my passion in financial coaching and showing other people how they can get out of debt and how they can budget their income and their expenses so that they can find money, not just bringing in extra money. It's finding the money you already have that is just dissolving. Mm -hmm. So I have fallen in love with financial coaching and that is such a passion for me. Um, and it's the $500 project that allowed that to happen. I was able to have those startup funds, not taken away from our family money, to start up that business. So you, you not only use the $500 project to help get out of debt, you've actually used it to help invest in a new business, which is actually doing the $500 project or the $1,000 yes. project and showing other people how to budget, how to get out of debt, how to like hustle and create and earn extra money around you to, and then put it towards like reducing financial stress. 
Yes, right? that's exactly right. And I'm so excited to share that piece with people too. So we first look at their budget and we, you know, cut things down like we have to basically go through the exact same structure that I did. And then for some people, it might be looking at doing a $500 project, a $1,000 project, whatever it might be. Okay. So you're actually, I always think like the best person to give advice is someone who's gone down that path, like, cause they can hold your hand, they're compassionate because they know exactly what it's like. They've been there, but they also know that you can get through it and they have that faith and that belief in you. So that, like, I love that, that you are able to share your experience and skills and knowledge and guide people through. Now with your, your um, Dantel, Dantel obviously offers this as a, like a, a service. Um, yeah. Can anyone around the world um, get your help? Absolutely. So yes, the business itself is Damsel Out of Debt and I do um, online consultations mm -hmm. as well. I actually have, we're in California right now, I have a client in California who I won't see here in person, but he, he's here and I'm up in Calgary. So yeah. Um, yeah, from anywhere. Okay, so for anyone out there who needs a debt coach, I want to help them get out of debt. Like, I'm going to hand you guys over <laughs> to Danielle who can help you out. Um, thank you so much for sharing your story with me. Um, I'm so honored that you've not only like shared this with me, but you've also flown in from Canada to meet with me um, because your story is incredibly inspiring. I, you know, I was just saying to Danielle, I sit behind a computer screen. I have no idea what everyone's doing behind the scenes, whether they, you know, you're using this to get out of debt or using it to build savings or if you're using it at all. So hearing you know, people like yourself contact me and say, this is what I'm doing, this is what I've done, um, you know, it actually really reassures that this does really work. This mm -hmm. makes a difference. And I mean, you are living proof that the, the happiness and control and um, like freedom that it brings back into your life and that sense of purpose. Like yes. you've got a goal that you were working towards and you are leading by example for your family, which is a gift in itself to give your, your daughters. Thank you so much, Kiana. Yes, <laughs> and thank you for being the, the very first piece that led me to this whole um, dream of financial coaching. Mm -hmm. um, and so my budgeting your way out of debt, I've actually created, it started as a blog, I created a worksheet mm -hmm. so people can actually get it as a freebie to work their way through and fill out their own information mm -hmm. so that they can kind of follow the same path that I took. Okay, great. All right, so you monitor the progress because progress is what makes you exactly. feel like you want to keep going. Yes. Like getting on the scale, seeing that weight coming down and going, you know what, this is working, it's actually worth, you know, the sacrifice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much, and thank you everyone for watching. I will link in the video description box below all the website details, all the contact details, Instagram, everything, so that you can be inspired and informed and guided by Danielle. All right, thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. Ciao.